I'm pro-life from conception, yes. Any cases where it should be legal? I don't think government should make that decision. I don't believe that government should make that decision. People promising. should be free to abort a bit. I support life from conception. No, people shouldn't be just free to abort because if we don't protect the sanctity of life from conception, we will also start to play God relative to life at the end of life. So I'm confused on what your position is. If My position woman, is I'm pro-life, period. If a woman is raped, she should not be allowed to end the pregnancy? That's her choice. That is not government's choice. Good. I support life from conception. So abortion should be legal? No, abortion should not be legal. I believe in the sanctity of life. I'm not getting... I'm, I'm not understanding. She I believe... Legal, she, if it's her choice, that means it's legal. No. I believe... I don't believe a woman should have an abortion. Does that help to clear it up? Even if she is raped? Even if she is raped or if she's a victim of incest because there are other options. We must protect the sanctity of life, and I have always believed that. Real clear. Thank you, Alice Hennigan. Let me speak very directly and candidly about where I stand. I will be a pro-life president. I believe that abortion should be safe and legal in this country. We do have tough gun laws in Massachusetts. I support them. I won't chip away at them. As governor, I worked closely with the NRA and the Gun Owners Action League to advance legislation that expanded the rights of gun owners in my state. When the federal government expands at the kind of rate it's expanding, buy car companies, bail out banks, we have every good reason to be alarmed and to speak our mind. We didn't waste a lot of money right then. That was an investment made to try and keep a collapse of our entire financial system from occurring. Oh, I, I like mandates. Uh, the, man, the, the mandates could, work. Could, could, the man, the mandates beg your work. pardon? Here we, <laughs> let me, I let don't me, know you're going to admit let me, that. The, the, the federal constitution does not allow for mandates to be provided by the government. Oh, absolutely. You like mandates. Let me tell you what kind of mandates I like, Fred, <clears throat> which is this. If the ones you come up with. <laughs> <laughs> Some people say that we ought to audit the Federal Reserve. Here's what I do know. The Federal Reserve already has so many internal audits, audits it's ridiculous. I don't know where, why people think we're going to learn this great amount of information by auditing the Federal Reserve. There's no hidden secrets going on in the Federal Reserve to my knowledge. And I tell people, you know, we've got 12 Federal Reserve banks. F you find out which district you're in. Call them up and go from there. We don't need to waste money with another commission or an audit that's not necessary. You're listening to the Neil Bortz Show, and this is Herman Cain. I'm thankful to Representative Ron Paul for his consistent and steady pressure on the Federal Reserve. And as chairman of the Subcommittee on Domestic Monetary Policy, he will have the oversight of the activities of the Federal Reserve, including the ability to require an audit of the Federal Reserve Bank. Congressional oversight and not more commissions appointed by the President will bring more accountability to the Federal Reserve on behalf of the American people. Was able to put in place a plan that helped get health insurance premiums down and gets all of our citizens insured. If we can do that nationally, we help not only Michigan and the auto industry, but the entire nation. One thing I'd never do would be impose a state's plan on the entire nation. That makes no sense. I'll repeal Obamacare. If the Restaurant Association did a settlement, I am not even, I wasn't even aware of it, and I hope it wasn't for much. We ended up settling for what would have been a termination settlement, quite frankly.